Hello and good afternoon. I am going to show you my new three inch stainless exhaust for the W210 today. And the candidate that's going to be showing this exhaust, this 210, this beautiful 127,000 mile example, I'm going to do a little sound test now. So I'm going to do from a standing start, you can hear the volume of this three inch stainless exhaust, which is capable of flowing 600 horsepower. And it's nice and quiet. Listen to this then. Traction light came on at 60. <laughs> That's good. So this car has a couple of mods, nothing major. It's got stage two ECU. It's got the big three inch exhaust system and it has our big mega 210 intercooler, which I'll show you in a minute. Something very obvious, the bumper's missing. This is not some kind of concourse daily driver. This is our kind of donkey testing car. Uh, and it's actually showing off our big thick four inch intercooler you think oh it doesn't look particularly big but trust me depth wise it's mega but today we're talking about the exhaust and i want to show you that and i want to show you how it's connected to the back of the turbo so let's have a look at that so as you can see connected to the back of the turbo um, we have a connection that's around six inch behind the turbocharger that allows the customer, if you're going to fit a larger turbo or a custom manifold onto that engine, that you can simply disconnect that section and make your own small piece. So if you purchase our full three inch exhaust, which is all nicely made to fit your 210 saloon, just direct fit, no cutting, no nothing, and you decide, oh, I'm going to upgrade my turbo, even though that car is quite quick, I'm going to upgrade my turbo, then it's easy. You can literally take that section off just a standard three inch v-band to connect back to it and then to your new turbo i can't make it any easier than that for you can i uh, and also not that this video is about the intercooler but this is the thick intercooler you might have heard people talk about on the internet um, so this has I don't know if you can see it you can see it on this side look these end caps are actually billet the cnc um, it's kind of a bit of a stealth one because you um because it's matte black and you can't really see it too clearly, but it does have stealth end caps. And this, this particular one is one of the first ones we made. So it's kind of a bit of a, it was done quickly to serve a purpose, but it, you can see the size and the shape. And that does fit perfectly under the standard bumper. Um, the reason we've got the standard bumper off is because we use this again for lots of like messing around and doing things. So ignore the fact it has no bumper on. Right, let's have a quick look at the back end then. So here we are at the back end, the business end that makes all the tunes. Um, twin three and a half inch outlets and you'd think it's two three and a half inches it's going to look too big but it doesn't it actually looks perfect i tried loads of different styles on the back of there and i was really happy with that um you can't really see because they've got a bit sutted up but they're um they're a sort of an outward taper these aren't just two bare uh, cut pipes i'm not going to touch them because they're quite warm um, but if you have a look underneath, you can see the system's stainless, you've got a box here and then you've got a, a box further forward. However, what we need to do is show you this complete system in the workshop. And also, we need to find out if this Stage 2 tuned 210 with a fruity exhaust is going to do a strong burnout. Because if it can't do a strong burnout, does anyone really want it? I don't. Right, so this is the three inch system. This is identical to the system that you've just seen and just heard on that 210 out there doing a mega burnout. Now, let's go through some of the features nice and quickly, because I'm sure you're falling asleep at this point. 
And if you are, to keep yourself awake, click like and, dis and subscribe. Not describe, that's not even a thing. Click like and subscribe. Okay. Right, to the front. So this section here, this six in inch section, can be removed if you ever choose to upgrade your turbo. So this will suit a stock or our V2 hybrid turbo um, and it's direct fit. So this whole exhaust system, you don't have to do any chopping or cutting or need to weld, you know, you don't need to know how to weld or anything like that. You take off your old system, you put this one on, instant horsepower gain. If you then decide in the future, I want even more horsepower because this thing's capable of flowing 600 plus horsepower, then you remove just this section here and make a different very front section to the back of your custom turbo. So if you go for a quick spool race kit, something like that, you're gonna be able to connect that on. And also if you go for the quick spool race kit, you're gonna have those amazing wastegate sounds. And to me, it doesn't get much better than that with a six cylinder diesel. Anyway, well, a high revving one anyway. Anyway, so moving down, this section of the downpipe is designed to suit right or left hand drive. So this actually curves around the steering shaft on our right hand drive vehicles. That was a bit tricky. So then the next section, this connects to the gearbox. So you've got an actual proper bracket mounting. And then um, obviously you've got just a two bolt clamp there, V-band clamp there. This is a slip joint. So obviously this allows you a little bit of uh, adjustment, like twist to get it all perfect on your car. And then as you can see, this is the first silencer that's going to take out most of the drone, uh, which I cannot stand. It sounds great at first to have a straight through pipe, but you know, you, when you're paying a lot of money for one of these systems, you want to enjoy it for a lot of years. And yes, a straight pipe, that first day you fire it up, it sounds amazing. I get it. But if you're daily in that car and you're starting it up and you, you know, your neighbors are going mad and you're wanting to drive long distances down the motorway, without it droning when you're feeling tired and it, oh, two silences, trust me. You want something that flows well, has a little bit of a fruity tune, but no drone. So one silencer there, then this bit past the axle to a rear silencer here. And then at the back, we have the two three inch tips that I was describing before. Now, I'll just lift that up so you can have a better look at those you couldn't quite clearly see it on the, the version outside, the actual way that they're, they're produced because there was soot inside them. But these are obviously adjustable. So you can extend or shorten, extend or shorten the tips to suit your bumper. And obviously you can rotate them to get them perfect. And that is a good thing. So that is the complete system. We can ship them all over the world and they fit on all saloon W210 models with a 606 fitted. So they're not for any other models. Um, no, we don't do them for the estate at this stage, just the saloon. But like I say, they're section up so we can do worldwide shipping. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you liked the burnout. I really did. So long for now. Buy one of these exhausts. Send me a long card number. Goodbye.